appreciate that. I feel good, personally. I, I would have said I would be the beautiful one and you would be the bearded one. But that's I mean, true. that's that's Puckett's own opinion. I'll take Everyone's you. entitled to their own opinion. You know may I mean? not be correct, but they're all entitled <laughs> to it. Fair point. Anyway, guys, welcome. It's our first matchup of the day. It's going to be Envy. Renegades, you hear the desk talk extensively about this matchup. But if I'm being honest here, this does not look good. <laughs> this, is good this, this could very well be a bloodbath. Uh, yeah. No, Envy, obviously, extremely dominant. Uh, in North American contenders, Renegades, the exact opposite. They have won one map. Uh, they have not looked good. A lot of you know, roster you no know, changes coming in. Uh, this yeah. time, Jesus will be back for Renegades. Jesus so rises again. We will see Jesus yet again here uh, on Li Zhang Tower. That just feels weird to say. But uh, it's really <laughs> been the tank play for <laughs> Renegades, I feel like, that has let them down the most. Okay. And I feel like going up against Coco and Mickey, it's going to be even tougher. Yeah, you, you know, the desk highlighted it quite a bit, right? <laughs> Talking about Prima Dolce versus Coco. I mean, Coco, for so long now, has just been such a consistent player. I mean, you know you're going to get... Great plays, great tank plays out of Coco. Whereas on the other side for Primo Dolce, you know, he's, it, it just showed right there, right? You know, how many times you die in those first deaths, how many times you engage in that. And, and also that goes on to the rest of his team too, being able to provide him that kind of protection. So there's a, there's a lot to be had there. Well, I think with Primo Dolce on the side of Renegades, right? You've seen him mostly play your Ryan and your Winston. They haven't really had a strong D.Va player to go along with him. For Envious, uh, obviously, you know, you have Mickey, very strong D.Va and Zarya to combo with Coco. Interesting here at the start, though, obviously, you know, still some time for Renegades to make some changes. Yep, we're going to see the Torbjorn. You have Zachary running the D.Va, <laughs> Primo Dolce running the Winston. It'll be Mangachu running the Farah. So we saw Envy counter FaZe Clan when they used the Farah the same exact way. Taimu on the Genji, effect on the Tracer. They're going to let the Farah just stay up in the sky. It's going to be Mickey with the Defense Matrix trying to eat up a lot of the Rockets as Envy puts pressure on the remaining players on the ground. Yeah, if there was one point, though, that I felt like Renegades could definitely take against Envy, it is this one right here, the Garden, because of the far play with Mangachu in the air, you can rely on him to get the picks and look at just how much he opens up for this team. They're able to establish control early on. The point has opened up and it will be the Renegades taking control early on. Yeah, you saw the Fire of Mercy come into play there. So, uh, it was Renegades. He'll take this first point. Now let's see how Envy decides to attack this. Will they stay with the same comp? They change things up. Coco has some teammates in front of them here. Is they're going to get onto the point? Try and make this a little bit interesting. You see Mickey getting in there. And I think if you can get onto the point here against the Far Mercy, bring that Far you know, down from up above, getting her into that close quarter on the point, then you can take her out a little bit easier. Yeah, and Effect's going to open it up with a kill there on Primo Dolce. Mangachu's actually going to die there. So I didn't see what happened. It seemed like that was off screen, though. Effect follows it up with another pick there on Zachary. And now this is Envy's time to shine. They clear out Renegades and. I'm really curious as to what happened there, because I don't know if you caught it, but Mangachu just kind of died on his own. No one seemed to have touched him. Yeah, I mean, one. he goes all the way on that left-hand side, like behind the building, and then you never see him come back into the fight. And I, <laughs> never I, this to be is, seen again. Th this will be the true test for Renegades. Can you retake the point with this Far Mercy combo? It will be the sound barrier coming in from Jura on the side of Renegades. For Envious, you do have the Transcendence to get through it. You also have this Dragon Blade from Taimu. Yeah, but that sound barrier doesn't really lead to many picks there. Envious still managed managed to stay alive. Jur is going to fall courtesy of Mickey. Effect continuously being a pain in the neck. They de mech the D.Va. Zachary won't be able to provide any kind of support for his team. But that Rez is going to look to bring everyone back into the action here, bringing back Zachary and Jur. There it goes. Was that a pull? Oh, that was a nice pulse bomb there. Effect kind of just hit him with that dirty layup there onto Mangachu. Just shut that one down. and. This has just been all envy as they manage to continue to accrue, accrue time, accrue percentage on this first point. You mentioned it before, X. Can they make that comeback happen? This has been a really long, dragged out fight. Renegades opens things up with the sound barrier there. Chips then use the Transcendence, and they didn't use the Pulse Bomb or the Dragon Blade until they saw the res come out for Sherlocky. They didn't want to waste both of those offensive ultimate abilities and then get it negated with the res. Now we'll see if Renegades can get back towards the point as they lose Primo Dolce at the beginning. That is a huge loss. They and they're about Renegades to, lose to back all the way, go back up. They lose Zachary as well, so you're going to lose out on those tanks. You don't have Sherlocky to bring back the tanks into the action here. You're at 90% now. Envy is looking to hold this one all the way until overtime. And so far, so good for the boys in blue who happen to be in red here. There goes the beat drop to give the support to all the members of the Renegades. And now they're going to start to pick up some kills. 
but a 99% Envy did the job. Now they just need one good fight, and this will be a win for them. Yeah, I mean, you're not really worried if you're Envy, right? You give up another point there. They use the sound barrier on the side of Renegades. If you're Envy, you're going to get your Transcendence here. You're going to get very close to a sound barrier and a Dragon Blade. So I think if you're Envy, the only thing you're really worried about is that resurrection that Sherlock he has. If you can get that res out early, you know, yeah. maybe you take out Primo Dolce, or maybe you can get Zachary out of the mech and out of the equation. They're forced to use the res, then you can have that Dragon Blade and you have your own support ults. Well, let's see. Primo Dolce is going to be super low health. Transcendence is going to come out to keep Envy in this fight. Primo on the other side of that, though, is going to use the Primal Rage. We'll be able to get the kill. But here comes Taimus. He cuts right through Zachary. Cuts through Jesus as well. Lucio in the back there by himself. Oh, no, you won't be able to stay alive. And there goes that resurrection that you were talking about. They're going to bring back Jur and Jesus. Primo is super weak here. Hasn't been taken out yet. Finally, he's cleared out by Harry Hook. And this is looking good for Envy as they have that man advantage on the point thus far. They just got a DMX Zachary, but that Mercy is looking to keep him alive in this fight. So close. And just as I say that, it seems like Effect's going to be all by his lonesome on He's the He's going to have to fall off. Yeah, it's going to be Envy not able to take the point back. Now it's going to be Renegades getting up to 88%. This is and scary. And they're close to another res. They're going to be very close to another sound barrier. And Envy had used all their support ults in that fight. You see Taimu now switching over to the McCree here, trying to do with this far Mercy at 98%. You're going to have Mickey get on the point here to contest. And Sherlocky will get that res in a little bit. That charge for the ultimate for the resurrection is so quick. Now we're going to be in overtime. Time to support in the back line. Won't have a dead eye to be able to support his teammates. Going to have to do this one with the left clicks and see if he can get as much damage out as possible while the beat is dropped. Mangachu gets the first kill on Mickey. And this is a good fight for Renegades as they have the man advantage currently. Time moves in the thick of things. He's going to get wiped up. And I mentioned it at the start of the fight. If there was a point that Renegades could win, it is this one courtesy of that Far Mercy gameplay. And Renegades know how to play around that really well. They get Garden. Yeah, NBS went all in on that second to last fight. You use both support ults, you use the Dragon Blade. Sherlocky comes, he brings back Jur and Jesus into the fight. Yeah. But it's just his healing on Zachary to keep that D.Va alive on the point, to get his other teammates back, you know, off spawn into the fight really swung things in Renegade's favor. And then towards the end, you know, you have Jur getting very close to a sound barrier. Same with Sherlocky getting close to another res. And Envy didn't have any support ult center. Taimu was forced to switch off the Genji to the McCree. Now I think this will be the interesting test, right? You said, you know, Far Mercy, great on that last point. This one, I'm interested to see how they make this Far Mercy, you know, come into play. As you see Taimu, you know, he is switching over now, not going to go with the McCree. He's going to go with Widowmaker here. He's going to look to play a little bit further Hello. back alongside with chips probably target them while they're in the sky here as uh renegades are going to make their way around the back and envy are going to take the fight onto the point already and they're going to get the kill on sherlock a headshot will take him out so you won't get that healing he won't be able to build up that oh mangachu now is just going to have to make this one work here and he is getting some damage down x yeah but here's the thing with far on this point right i mean he can't really get into the point to yes. do a lot of damage so he's sitting on the outside just firing rockets but once he goes into the point, he's going to have to go down, you know, closer towards a lot of the other heroes. So he's able to get Taimu out of the equation all the way back by the envious spawn. But now let's see, once he gets in the point, if he can make this work. And also, because he just doesn't have much room to play around with, makes him a sitting duck. But he has Jesus there, and we haven't seen Jesus a lot, right? Last couple matches, Jesus has been uh, MIA. And he really made an impact on that one. Let Mangachu get that free farm. Let put let him put down that damage. And furthermore, let Jesus get in there and, and, and really harass everyone else. Well, I mean, that is one of the ways you can make the far work on this point, right? If you stay from a distance and you just fire the rockets through the window, and your teammates are able to stay alive on the point and do some damage of their own, especially, you know, if you're looking at Jesus. I mean, then, you know, the extra far damage could be huge for the sign of Renegades. See a pulse bomb come out from Jesus there. He's going to deem back. Mickey, but it will be Envy taking the point back. Here comes a Rocket Barrage, oh. able to get two, not the third. Renegades will hold on to the point. Yeah, good pick by Chips, but in the end, though, Renegades flip it right back. And uh, kudos to them for making this one work. Again, th this team knows how to play around Afara very well, and Zachary's doing his job as D.Va, so you have to be very happy with that. And I wonder when you see Taimu switch off of the Widowmaker. He gets taken out at the beginning of the fight. He does have his ultimate here. Sherlocky going to use Transcendence. They also use their sound barrier here. Could be huge for Envy because now Envy Ooh. has both of their support ults. There's going to be Coco with the Primal Rage knocking players off of the point. Primo also using his Primal Rage. He managed to take out Mickey there. Losing out on D.Va always hurts in a fight. 
Harry Hook trying to keep the drive alive here as Chips and Coco work together. Taimu gets a little bit of a short range shot there on Jur. Zachary in a world of hurt will get destroyed. And now they're looking to make this flip happen. They do so. Uh, but so far, though, Renegade's able to get 64% on that, so quite a bit gained here. Now it's time to see how Envy responds with Renegade's on the attack. Because if you remember that first push, Taimu was able to get that pick early on on Sherlocky. Oh, we'll see what happens. And, and Ooh, before Sherlocky can even walk out of the spawn, effect on a flank takes him out with just one clip there. So it's going to force Renegade's to wait even longer, effect you know, buying a lot of percentage. Now, overall, in the game towards Envy there with that one pick. And I think this is, uh, like you said, Golden Boy, this is where it'll be interesting because now Mangachu is going to have to enter you know, over towards that point, go up against Taimu and the Widowmaker. And what, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say frustrates me is just that they didn't check to see if the Winston was above. You know, typically teams will like to, you know, drift over to the left side and check to see if the Winston's there. And that kind of disrupts that push there before it even begins. Zachary, though, able to take out Coco. And wow, what a shot from Taimu takes out Jesus now. Good shots from him. Mangachu will go down, and this is going to be Envy holding this one out for the time being. Yeah, that's where it's tough for Mangachu. If his team doesn't have control of the point, then you're just kind of sitting back from afar. You're just firing rockets into Mickey's Hello. defense matrix. Hello. Can't really make an impact. And then especially because of the Widowmaker play from Taimu. Look at the route that Mangachu has to go, right? He's so scared, doesn't want to go through the middle. Has to be so cautious, doesn't want to get picked. Oh, and they lost someone early. Sherlock, he goes down. He's going to get knocked off by Coco from the Primal Rage. Rage Mangachu now comes around the side. He's looking for the opportunity to use a barrage. And he's, oh no, he doesn't get a kill for him. Chips has his number yet again. 99%. Now it's time for overtime. Jur drops the beat, but only really catches himself on that one. And this so far is all envy. They clear them out. Overtime whittling down. And that will do it. Envy managed to take a point here. And that is about what I had expected, if I'm being honest. But, uh, you know, kudos to Renegades for, you know, keeping this one very competitive uh, going into the second point. Yeah, I think it was Taimu, though, with the Widowmaker, really made an impact on this point. And he committed. Oh, what a just shot. A sick shot there on a Sherlocky. We'll see some more clips here from Taimu. Another one on a Jur. His shot with Widow is just so sick. And. I think, look, you saw Mangachu towards the end, right? I mean, right there, a body shot, he forces him down, and it's already a difficult point to look use a far Oof, on. That. Dear God. I mean, when you have a guy that is that good at a certain hero, it is so hard to go up against. So here's something different from Envious. Uh, we'll see if they run with this as the clock's dwindling down, but you'll have a Brian. Oh, uh, for a no, second no, there, no, I want to make you run a Roadhog. But yeah, but sorry, and you're going to have Taimu on the Junkrat. So uh, we've seen him run the Junkrat on Eigenwald, a few other maps as well. Uh, you know, obviously this is you know the build without you know, the buff with uh, the double mine. So, you know, putting uh, the Junkrat into use early. Now you expect that you know, once the you no know, update comes through, you're going to see the Junkrat even more from Envy. I don't think time of cares much for your updates. <laughs> he, no, he wants to play just, what he wants to play. Yeah, clearly he played Widow an entire round there, despite him getting shut down a couple times. It just shows how much he commits to these particular heroes. Envy, though, so far, so good for them. They're able to get the pick. Effect, actually, using the McCree. And there you see here, he has ridiculous aim as a Tracer. His Doomfist plays phenomenal. And now we just get to see Effect march forward with the McCree. Continue to be a pain in the neck for anyone to deal with. Oh, and I, I, Taimu's Junkrat is huge here because, right, he's controlling that whole kind of, you know, right-hand platform to the side of the point. So just firing the grenades down there, forcing you know, Renegades to back all the way up, go through that open area, and yeah. then you know you get the Rhine Shield out of the equation, and then that just opens things up for effect to just land these easy shots on the McCree. Oh, and he got, I think he got the flash off on him there too. Pushes right forward, finds Jur in the sky there, and he's <laughs> just clearing them out. Luckily, Mangachu stops the insanity, but then you have Taimu who's continuing to flood down grenades right into the doorway. And you had mentioned it before. I don't know if you saw it there in, in that particular push, but Primo, his shield was so, like, just tattered, just destroyed before he was even able to uh, to get in that he had to go back and they had to wait for the shield to come back. It's and just they, time wasted. And then Mickey is so charged up on the Zarya, they decide to nano boost him and just send him on in there. So you see a grab coming out with a dead eye here from effect. So that's going to be the grab from the side of Renegades. But Renegades can't push in. They don't want to get killed by the dead eye from effect. Here's going to be a grab coming in from Mickey. 
Everybody falls Look from Renegades, charge. man. It's been tough for Renegades on these last two points. Look at his charge. He's, what, sitting at 70, 80% charge all the time? Has so much damage that you're outputting with Zarya. Yeah, Mangachu uses the grab and then, you know, with Renegades wants to push after that, but Effect uses the Deadeye, so you can put down that Rhine Shield and just kind of charge on in there. The rest of your teammates are going to fall. As soon as Renegades gets close, Envy uses a grab of their own and takes them out. Oh, here comes a rip tire. How many is he looking to get here? Going to the back lines, finds one, takes out Jur. So far, though, it's going to be an even exchange in kills. But they end up losing out on support, so that is certainly going to hurt. Oh, dear lord, he just moved up on him and nuked him. Poor Sherlocky, he would just will not be able to stay alive through that one. DMX Mangachu in the process. Now we're going to be in overtime, 99% for the boys in blue. But they're getting pushed back here because they don't have the damage to deal with. And Renegades are able to make that flip happen, though. But one has to wonder, how long? Is this just, is this just delaying the inevitable X? Well, Renegades is not going to have either their support ults. Envy, you may get close to a sound barrier here. And Effect's going to have the Deadeye, so maybe you're able to you know, get him towards that high ground or you know, force some players back. But he's able to get a pick with the Deadeye, then push on in because Harry will have that sound barrier. I'm looking for Jesus to make the play here, and oh, that actually was a good pulse bomb. That forced Effect to have it's to back away yeah. from the Deadeye, so they end up wasting out that ult. But Harry Hook will have the beat in just a little bit. He's at 94%, and they're just waiting for the prime opportunity to drop that one. Sherlock, he's going to have to use his transcendence in turn, and hopefully he gets it in time. The beat has been dropped, and despite them losing Coco, they are going to push in and engage. So close to being able to make this one happen. Here comes the Riptire. How many is he looking to get now? As he's patrolling around, and he doesn't get a kill, but he does do a significant amount of damage onto Primo Dolce. Effect gets two with that one as well. Coco back in the action again. And Envy are going to make this flip happen. And now they have to dive onto the point right here, right now. If Zachary can stay alive a little bit longer, you had Transcendence coming in. And towards the end, you see the Transcendence come down, oh. but it's going to be Coco with a big Earth Shatter. Knocks down, knocks a few players back from the side of Renegades, preventing them to get to the point. It'll be Envious taking map number one. Gotta love those Earth Shatters, man. Clutch play there from Coco. Play of the game goes to effect. This guy, man, he is just so unbelievably good. But yeah, I mean, again, like I said before, <laughs> the map that they were going to get was Garden. I believe I told you that even yeah. before because of that far a play. Uh, then on the other side of that, though, I mean, Envy, they just never looked back. Yeah, they just couldn't really uh, make the far of mercy work on the second point. And then towards the end there, you know, Taimu's Junkrat was just a real nuisance mm -hmm. for the side of Renegades to deal with. But Renegades did put up a good fight there in map number one. Yeah, well, folks, we're going to go to a quick break. When we come back, it's going to be match number two. Let's see what Renegades decide to pick. Don't go anywhere, and we'll see you on the other side.
Welcome back, everyone. As we get ready for game number two, it's going to be King's Row here. And not all that surprising no. considering what Renegades like to play. Yeah, I think uh, for Renegades right on the offensive side, you know, maybe Mangachu runs a Hanzo. Maybe they run Far Mercy again mm -hmm. because they made it work on Lijang Tower. I think the only thing that could work against Renegades here is just in terms of Reinhardt play. We do see Reinhardt quite often on mm -hmm. King's Row. And I think when you compare Primo Dolce in Coco, Coco, the more experienced Reinhardt player. Yeah, I, I think it's just night and day. And Des talked about it before yeah. at the top of the show. And not to, you know, I hate to be that kind of person to like, you know, <laughs> bury, you're say, but, bury which Renegade. Which means you are going to be that person. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm just, I'm <laughs> so just saying. Do? What are you going to do? I was just, I was just saying like, but, but you never but know, you never, man. Oh, you know come on. I, mean? I really want Bren to eat his blazer. He said he was going to eat his weird, blazer. He has a weird like obsession with every time he bets somebody on something. Yeah. He's always like, I'm going to, I'll bet you I'll eat my blazer. It's like, yeah. But do you really just want to deep down? Like, because if you want to eat your blazer, do it, baby. You know what I mean? Like, just fry it up, deep fry it. That's what we do. And just eat your blazer. I mean, maybe I'll he just you. doesn't know. You could uh, throw it on the grill. I mean, yeah. there, are, there are much better food options than a blazer, but. It's the a big meal. Uh, it, it would be actually a huge meal, but it <laughs> would be. Just eat your sock, awful. you know. I don't yeah, know. No. But that would not be enjoyable. Uh, Envy will be on defense. A little moisture. Uh, going into King's Row. It's, uh, <laughs> Looks like at the start here, you have Taimu on McCree, and you'll have effect on Doomfist. So we've seen Doomfist, you know, on uh, King's Row be extremely good, you know, on the defensive side of things, right? Because it's just the one-shot kill potential, right, with those fists, the rocket punch. Yeah. And then you're able to just get out. You know, you just rising uppercut, seismic slam, go back towards the rest of your team. Mm -hmm. And you're able to just stall out the offense for so long. For Renegades here, I know still some time to, you know, mix their comp up. Not exactly sure what they're going to be going with, as uh, you'd expect. Okay, maybe like a Hanzo, maybe a Widowmaker, Far attack Mercy, Bastion. but That's what you should do. Uh, we'll not see the Attack Bastion. So, so they'll be running Zachary on the Reaper. So uh, I believe we saw them try and do this last week, and it didn't work. Uh, where they try and just like get Zachary into the face of the Reinhardt on the opposing team. And the issue is they just were not able to get him that close. So we'll see if they can get Zachary in position on this Reaper to, you know, really just mow down these tanks. I, yeah, I just, I mean, and so far, I mean, so good, right? Oh, he gets slept there <laughs> by totally Chips. Him. Oh, I'm oh. so sorry, man, but they they might lose effect here. Effect's going to be super low health, but he's brought back again. And this is the part that you got to commend Chips for keeping his team alive, just as I say that Coco dies low. Uh, but so far, though. Envy, they're trying to hold this one down. They are getting, they are losing some players here in the exchange show. Renegades, they're getting it. Well, you can see with the Reaper and the McCree, you're able to get Coco's shield down and then you take him out. Taimu takes out Zachary. Let's see if the rest of Envy is, can come back into the fight as see the x-rays on the screen coco around the corner trying to lead in with effect he gets knocked down coco with a big pin here on a primo dolce as envy gets back onto the point okay so the renegades are making this one a game here as they push in march right through and they're so close for being able to capture the first point and they do so with plenty of time left on the clock there x anything that what were some of the things you your takeaways there as far as what went wrong for envy well, I think what went right for Renegades is they got Fair. Zachary into position. He was just putting a lot of those, you know, Reaper shotgun shells and no, yeah, just onto the shield of Coco. And then Coco's shield fell. They're able to deal with him rather quickly. And then once you get, you know, that big shield out of the equation, you know, Taimu can't just keep knocking down shots on the McCree. He has to back up a little bit. You force Envy into a tough position. Coming into the next fight for Renegades, you do have a grab. You have your dead eye, and you're going to have you know, both your support ults. Here's going to be the grab. It's a good one from Mangachu, but it's going to be a dead eye from Taimu that takes oh. out a few. Jesus returns with a dead eye of his own, takes out three. Renegades wins that fight. That was nasty. And the streets phase continues to go in Renegades' favor. And, and with some poor grabs last week, it's good to see Mangachu <laughs> really make that grab worthwhile, right? I mean, he gets yeah. three players in it. They're able to take them out and then move on. You know, if you're Renegades, you did not have to use either his support ults here. See the grab coming through. Jesus with his dead eye. All you lost. Oh, and it was an Earth Shatter there yeah. from Primo Dolce as well. That was a great last second Earth Shatter. Death Blossom's going to come through. Zachary's going to get a kill there on Mickey. 
Oh, but he won't get any more kills. Uh, the rest of the members of Envy wisely backed away. That could have gone poorly for them. Coco does lose the shield, and you just see all the members of Envy have to disengage, and they're getting so much time onto the clock here, X. They are moving this payload through. Renegades has rolled through King's Row so far here against Envious, and you see Envy is starting to make some changes, so Effect now goes off of Doomfist. He'll go over to the Soldier 76. To hear a dead eye come through from Taimu, forcing players back. If you're Envy, though, you did not use your soundbar. You still have your Earth Shatter here as well. Mickey's going to get right back in his mech. So Envy does have some ults to work with. To get to this point, Renegades has had to invest pretty much everything. Yeah, that is uh, the part where you just got to be smarter about your time management, which is what Renegades are doing. They go back to the spawn. They all heal up. Although they do need Mangachu to get back to full health, and luckily he is going to do so. The shields come back and waiting for it. Jesus has a dead eye ready. And there goes the Earth Shatter there. As the beat has been dropped now, Mangachu's going to drop the Graviton Surge, bringing everyone together for a big hug. He's going to pick up two kills of his own, a third, as he actually d the D.Va. Zachary's in a bad spot. Okay, so that was a botched play there from Envy, because what they did is they had ships jump up on the payload, and then he put Primo Dolce to sleep. And then that's when the Earth Shatter comes down. The only issue is, is somebody ended up, you know, some kind of damage went down on the Primo and woke him back up. And then his shield came up. They didn't really get much with the Earth Shatter. They had already invested the sound barrier as well. So uh, NV there, you know, just a small mistake. I mean, any amount of damage could wake up Primo in that type of situation. Let's see if Primo's going to go for the Earth Shatter here. Taimu dead eye kill onto Jur as well. So they're able to, you know, even the odds. And Renegades, they're on fire right now. So close to being able to make this cap happen. I mean, X, can you even believe that you're seeing this right now? Envy, they're false, uh, forced all the way back. The fire strike is deflected, sent back. Coco is now gonna be nano boosted. He pushes on forward. They're gonna have to use the two tanks set up there to use Mickey and Coco onto the tanks of Winston and Reinhardt. 3.7 meters remaining. Effect is getting kills, though. And this so far has been a stop that Envy can maintain. Zachary's so close to being able to get Dragon Blade as well. They're just going to have to go back, disengage, because they have so much time. Yeah, Envy uses a nano boost there on a Coco to just you know, buy them some time, force Renegades back a bit. The bad part for Renegades is they use their own nano boost and they use their own Earth Shatter. Uh, on the positive end for Renegades, you will have the opportunity to open this fight up with a Sound Barrier, Graviton Surge, and Dragon Blade combination. On the side of Envy, you have no support ults to get through it. This could hurt, and I don't know. I mean, if they take Mangachu out here, perhaps that opens something up for them, keeps them going. But there goes the Graviton Surge. Dragon Blade is going to come out as well. Does Zachary get a kill? Actually, it's going to be all of his teammates getting kills here. Primo Dolce, as a matter of fact, just marches on through, gets four kills for his trouble. And they are right there. They make the cap happen with plenty of time left on the clock. Three points and the Renegades with authority. And I think what you saw from Renegades there is just really good ult usage. I know what plagued them last week in a lot of their games is that you build up towards this Graviton Surge and they get nothing with it and they mm -hmm. invest some other ults to go in for it. That time you saw some good grabs there from Mangachu. And you saw, you know, the Reaper made an impact early. Zachary then switches over to the Genji, makes his impact felt a late. I honestly at a, at a loss for words here. I not the Hey, I said it, but you never know. I did say it. You did say it. You, know? you say a lot of things. I do. I do say a lot of things. But that thing that I said was a thing that was right. It, it was. I, I, I look, <laughs> I, I think Envy is going to win this series. I think anybody out there would tell you Envy is going to win this series. But I have been very impressed with uh, know how Renegades has played you know, through the first map and then the first half here on King's Row. Uh, looks like a much you know, better, I just better wish we would have them sooner. You know, we would have right. this team sooner. Because they are impressing me. I mean, the, the comp with Zachary, the way they were able to play into that and, and Envy played into the hand even, that was, that was big to open it up. Yeah, I mean, they just look on the same page, right? I mean, you see just, uh, you know, from a teamwork perspective, you know, just not really any kind of like you know, weird ult usage and just odd situations. And, and it, it looks like they're just a much more composed team right now for the side of Envy. They'll be on the attack here in the second half, as uh, and there's still 30 seconds to figure out what they want to do. Renegades on defense, they'll run. Zachary on the Reaper yet again here at the beginning. So uh, you know, maybe you're just trying to keep him in that back left. You know, he's able to control some of that area. So if Envy goes with a dive, right, where you see Coco already on the Winston, mm -hmm. Zachary can put a ton of damage onto him. 
10 seconds until the door opens here, folks. Let's see if the Renegade's defense is as good as their offense. There goes the Biotic Nade. Lands and boom. Oh, nice. Hits quite a few, and maybe they could use this to their advantage. They can get an early pick, but no. Won't matter all that much, though, but at the very least, Sherlocky was able to start things off nicely. And oh, and Effect is going to get dropped by Jesus there to start it off. So losing out on Effect early on so he doesn't, like, harass the back line, that's a good start. But Envy is getting Taimu on the 76 set up on the high ground here. And you see the rotation coming in for Renegades. They're going to go all the way around the backside, but that's pretty much given effect, like free reign to come on a flank now coming out of his spawn. The issue is, is, is Renegades, they've spotted this out. They go, they attack They have Coco. to get on the point, though. They do have to get back on the point. Look, this is the high ground that you've given up to Taimu here on the 76. And, uh, and I'm a little confused because you had mentioned before that Zachary would be, should be up there to kind of stop anyone who comes onto the flank, and Zachary ended up going down. Oh, good sleep dart to just try and stop the bleeding here. They have to keep this one going. He is going to get back up. Mickey will get out of the D.Va, but Effect has already done uh, quite a bit of damage here. And this is going to be Envy making this cap happen. Yeah, I mean, you wanted Zachary on the Reaper, like in that left hotel, to just kind of mow down tanks as they came around the corner and whatnot. I just, once you let Taimu get up top on the 76, he's just able to put down so much uncontested damage that eventually you were going to just break there if you're Renegade. So you see Zachary switches off the Reaper here. He'll go back to Genji. For this next fight, if you're Envy, you're going to be very close to Attack Visor. You're going to have your... Pulse Bomb, and you have a Transcendence. Uh, so you're in good shape if you're Envy. Renegades, you know, you do have you know, Sherlocky with the Nano Boost. See if they decide to use that onto Jesus. Get you know, that Electric Cowboy with the Deadeye. See if you can pick up some players and force Envy back. Of course, Effect, though, could be the uh, Predator here and stalk his prey. Maybe drop a Pulse Bomb. Takes out a target. Oh, he ends up. Oh, he gets it. Okay, so I thought it hit the shield. It looked like it hit the shield, but it doesn't really matter because he ends up getting the kill, and that's all that matters. I'm just looking at Effect being a pain in the neck yet again. That is just the best phrase I could possibly use for Effect. When he is on the back line, he is just a nuisance to play against here, and Envy doing their best impression of Renegades. They are so close to capping this one. It's looking good for them. Yeah, what with just that Pulse Bomb kill, I mean, that is afforded Envy to not have to use any of their other ults to, you know, take point B here as they are marching the payload down. King's Row. It's for Renegades here. You know, this next fight's going to be huge. You have your Sound Barrier, Nano Boost. You didn't use the Nano Boost in the last fight. You're going to have Graviton Surge here as well. Diva Self-Destruct is going to go down. Does it pick up a kill, though? No, it's just going to force people back. The Cowboy is just going to be moved around as the beat has been dropped. Primal Rage as well. Does Jesus find one? No, he does not. And Renegades trying to hold this one off, but it has just been all blue. Envy, they're just shredding through them. Yeah, and Envy uses both their support ults to get through that Graviton Surge. And there's no follow-up coming in for the Renegades. They had you know, the, the Deadeye coming around the corner, but they couldn't actually get the McCree further around the corner to actually you know, get some kind of line of sight on any of the players of Envy. Taimu now switches over you know, to the Widowmaker here towards this last point. You still have Sherlocky with the Nanaboo. Zachary just gets the Dragon Blade. You'll see those combo. Here comes the Dragon Blade along with the Nanaboo. Zachary cuts through through the back line and will get Coco to boot. That's going to be three for his trouble. Taimu is going to shut that down. But they are going to have to disengage, though. Just wait this one out and believe that was, uh, yeah, it was Mickey. Oh, poor thing. Had to get away from there. And, uh, you know, Taimu on this, on this Widowmaker, you know, you saw what he can do on this particular hero and Li Zhang. We've seen it at the World Cup. He's so good with it. I just, I'm not sure if it's like the best choice for him right now, but I mean, it's time so he could do basically whatever he wants and succeed, it seems like. Well, I think uh, if he can get like Zachary out of position or Sherlocky, he'll be able to get a pick that opens this fight up. And, he knows and you exactly notice it where pushes them back, playing. right? Yeah. He, he pushes them back. So at the very least, it's like the presence, of, you know, the fear of God almost in uh, with the Widowmaker, right? Can cause that disruption and really just force people to not make the plays you want in time. You just, you need to stop my man. He gets the kill on Zachary as well as Primo Dolce. High ground control. The supports are going to be in the back here. They're going to have to deal with this. If he can get the kill onto the Tracer, that would prove to be very well, very good for them here. But he does not. His teammates, on the other hand, though, they're just going to swarm him. And he's given him enough room to breathe here. The question is, is it going to be enough to push this payload and get that third point? You do see the sound barrier come in from Harry Hook. There's only one member here for Renegades on the point, but you do have spawners coming through. Jur getting very close to a sound barrier, but he's going to use it. 
You still see Coco, though, putting a lot of pressure for Envy on the support chips, holding on to this Transcendence. We'll see if he decides to use it. will be Coco using the Primal Rage, knocking players back here, trying to keep them off of the payload. And that's just buying a lot of space for effect. Able on the Tracer, just dart in and out of the opponents, pick people apart here as Envy getting very close to completing the map. So close to being able to do it, but the spawner advantage will be there for Renegades as they move on forward, but they're going to be now just going one by one to the payload, 0.33 meters, and that's going to do it. Three points on the board and a better time than Renegades, but still, we have plenty more King's Row left to play here, folks. Yeah, and Chips is probably holding on to that Transcendence because they had not seen the Dragon Blade in a little bit from mm -hmm. Zachary, so... You don't want to use both of those support ults and then have Zachary, I think, who ended up getting it to like 98% on the blade, come out of the respawn with that blade and just kind of tear through everybody because you have to play so close to around the cart. But it was a smart decision. Yeah, in the end, smart decision there from Envy. They complete the map with two minutes and 44 seconds in the time bank. Now it'll be Renegades here on offense with two minutes and 20 seconds to attack. Now, Envy knows how Renegades want to play at the start here. They, they brought out the, the Zarya. You know, they, they had, they had in, in my honest opinion, you know, the, one of the best pushes I've seen from Renegades in this entire tournament. Zachary on the Reaper, that tank buster. And now I'm assuming that they are, they are expecting that. But the unique thing about this team is that they can throw you many different looks. They could play a Hanzo into the back. Hanzo is really good because of these linear uh, paths here and just the angles that he can get. Or you go attack Torb, be, you know, do you. No, I definitely don't go attack Torb. <laughs> you always go never, attack Torb, Never will I go attack Torb, as uh, it's a proven fact. We'll see what Renegades decides to do. I mean, do we, okay. Mangachu will go over now to the Junkrat. At least at the beginning here, as you're running a solo support mercy for Renegades. So you'll have Jesus on the Widow. A lot, a lot of damage coming down from Renegades. Four here. DPS here, one tank, one support. This is a very odd composition. Envy's gonna try and play their safe zone there, right at the back of the hotel. And they are gonna get onto the point now. And, and I mean, this is a very weird composition, and effect has already taken out one of the members there and <laughs> the other member too. So I mean, you know, when you remove the two oddballs out of this one, the Widow and the 76, 76 on Jur, it kind of slows down this whole push now. This is just not the position that he wants to be in there. And, and I mean, maybe with out. the Widowmaker, you think you can force Envy into certain positions as Mangachu here comes on a flank on the Junkrat as he is still alive. As puts down a trap, lands McGinn and he does take out Chips as a support though, and he's gonna earn nope. himself the tire, not going to use it before he gets taken out. It's, uh, I think that burns it. Yeah, that burnt the tire as yeah, well. Yeah, that's. It's, oh no, I think he's still at uh, you know 41 percent. So he doesn't get the whole tire out. So still holds on to some of it. But maybe you have that you know, widow that forces them back, and then you have all like the damage that goes down into the corner. As you know, Coco Shield is going to be down a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's the Reinhardt here, but uh, Taimu now gets a pick on a Primo I mean, Dolce. Primo just doesn't have support there when he well, goes in for the dive, so that's the other weird part about this too. Well, yeah, I mean, you don't really have anybody that can help him out. No. Uh, you're relying heavy on you know some of these DPS to get picks, and you know, with how far back Envy's playing, you know, it has not been a you know, great opportunity for Renegades to get picks. Now you're going to see them change it up. You'll have Jer go over to the Lucio, Sherlocky now going to switch off of the Mercy, go to Zenyatta, but now you've reset your ult across the board yeah. with only 30 seconds to go. <laughs> I, I mean, it's very weird. You know, again, we knew we were going to see some weird things coming into this one, Renegades. They always like to try something different. I mean, if they would have played Attack Torb, I, pretty, I, I probably wouldn't have been surprised there. Earth Shatter's going to drop down, and Envy clears him through. They use the beat there to just win that fight. But but if you're Envy, you don't really care about using your ults there because you know that Renegades is going to come in with nothing because they just switched pretty much everybody outside of Primo, and you just saw the Primal Rage. Mickey here with a grab. What he lands it. They won't be able to get back towards the point. Lands a few players in it. Jesus, the only one with Primo Dolce, able to get to the point for Renegades. All they really have to do is just worry about taking out the tanks here. And so far, so good for the boys in blue. There's going to be three members of Renegades contesting right in front. 
And looking at the health bars at the top of your screen here, you can tell that Envy, they have the upper hand here in the man count. Mangachu will be out of the Diva mech there as well. Zachary trying to keep this one alive. The two DPS players, Zachary and Jesus, trying to work in tandem. Prima Dolce now is going to switch over to the Reinhardt and push forward. See if he can get in their face, be a nuisance for them. Zachary with the Dragon Blade now maybe opens up an opportunity. Gets two, but Coco shuts that down with a Fire Strike. And with that, shuts down the round. Renegades not able to make anything happen with some very weird picks. And, and even wow. there towards the end, you know, Sherlocky switches off the Mercy with Rez. It's like maybe you keep the Farah Mercy and you bring Jur on like uh, the Lucio and then you try to make something happen. Just, uh, no, at the end there, Renegades, they just switched with uh, you know, so little time on the clock that they didn't give themselves a really good chance to earn a bunch of ults. I mean, Zachary gets the Dragon weird. Blade there. And he's able to get like one or two kills with it, I think. But other than that, you were not able to earn any of your ults there towards the end for Renegades. So you see all Envy has to do is get to that first tick and they will take map number two. That was just a weird attack from Renegades. Weird is the best possible definition that I could use there to describe, best possible word, excuse me, I could use there to describe what we just saw. Oh, it was just so much damage. I mean, you have the Widowmaker, the, sheer they switched the Farah, out was the, thing that was weird. the Junkrat. Uh, you, know, you had a 76 as well in there. It's just a, so much damage you're trying to put down onto the Rhine Shield and just back up Envy. But you just weren't able to do it. I mean, Envy just took the fight right to him. I mean, they know Sherlocky has the solo support, not able to keep everybody alive. So now we'll see Envy <laughs> on the attack. Taimu on the Widowmaker. He is so good. We talk about it so often. If he can open up things with a pick here for Envy, look for them to steamroll this point. All right, well, now it's going to be Envy's turn, Matt. You said it before. All they got to do is get to that golden tick right there. Not a lot of progress to make onto the payload, and we saw it in that last round, in Envy's last attack, how quickly they were able to establish control onto point A. Time we're looking for a kill there, but he's getting pressured by the Tracer and just so low on health here, having to just zip out of there. Might be running right into Coco. That's going to be three kills for them. They're all backed up. They really can't do anything about it. And they are going to make this one happen. I mean, they take out a couple members of Renegades that are just trying to keep this one alive here for the time being. It is contested, but this is basically curtains. And Envy will make it happen four to three, and they will go up two to zero in this series. Yeah, they try and put a lot of pressure on Taimu in the back. He puts down a shot onto Jesus, forces him to back up. Coco meets him at the top of the stairs, jumps right on him. You get your Tracer out of the equation. Then, you know, uh, Zachary just put so much pressure on Taimu that everybody else from Envy was like, okay, screw it. We'll just kind of work our way through the other members. Zachary, you know, takes him out towards the end there, but has to work his way back towards the point. And Envy, you know, at that point, you know, the progress, they're so close to taking him out. They take him out. It'll be a Zachary play of the game. It's going to be a grab towards the end of the offensive side for Renegades here, comboed you know, with the Dragon Blade. Does a lot of work. Not enough, though, for Renegades to take map number two as Envious has gone up 2-0 in the series. I, you know, that was just a, a, a really interesting way, yeah. really interesting series. That's, that's a, you know, a good way to put it there uh, because Renegades played so well at the start. Um, wonder why they didn't just roll with the same thing, right? Roll with what works. <laughs> Uh, you know, perhaps they, they just felt like, you know, lightning won't strike twice. I, I mean, maybe they think that uh, Envy is going to play a, a different comp there and they're using the four DPS you know, in a different way. Like maybe they thought with the uh, Reaper in play how effective it was against mm -hmm. Ryan Zara, you would have s saw something else come out from the side of Envy. Like maybe if Effect plays Doomfist, right, and he's getting really aggressive, you have all that damage kind of throw at Doomfist. You're able to get a pick and then go in, but uh, just a uh, really weird, you know, second offensive half there for Renegades. Indeed it was, but the boys in blue will be up 2-0, to zero, still continuing to look dominant here in North America. I believe we're going to go to a quick break, and then the desk is going to break it all down, and we'll get ready for our next matchup, so you don't want to miss it. We'll catch you in just a few.